Spring Boot applications are packaged by default as jar files. Now you can change the packaging to war, but you will have to tweak a little bit more the pom.xml file in order to make it work with uh, servers that are not Apache Tomcat, so for example, Jetty. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, how to change the packaging to war, and how to deploy to Apache Tomcat, and how to deploy it also to Eclipse Jetty. So I'm going to base this video on this article that explains all the steps to package the Spring Boot application as a war and then how to deploy it to Apache Tomcat and Jetty. Uh, so I have it here for convenience, so we can just copy paste uh, the snippets of code. And of course, um, I'm going to share a link to it in the description of, of this video so you can also copy paste these snippets of code. So. I created a new Spring Boot application here. I didn't use the Spring Initializer, but it, it would be the same if you use the Spring Initializer. I is, instead I used uh, Vadin Start or Start.Vadin.com, and that created a Spring Boot application um, with a front end uh, implemented in Vadin Flow. So by default, again, it's um, uh, the packaging is jar, and we can check that for example. If we do a package here, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use the production the production profile just because uh, I'm gonna later I'm gonna use the application to uh, to I'm gonna deploy this application to a standalone um, uh, Tomcat and Jetty. So anyway, uh, let's uh, build the application, and then you'll see a target folder here or a directory, and at some point you're going to see that it creates a jar jar file, right? Um, this is going to uh, download all the dependencies and then it's going to build the front end. Uh, but in the end, you should get, if uh, we reload this from the disk, you should get a jar file. And now you run that using Java jar and the name of the, of the file, right? Mm, now, we don't want to do that. We have a Tomcat running somewhere and we just want to co copy a war file to it so that we can use the web application. So instead of that, we need to change this to war, right? And for Tomcat, actually, that's all you have to do. If you have a Tomcat uh, server, then just change to war and um, uh, it should work. Uh, let's try it out, actually. Uh, and uh, Okay, something I actually wanted to show you is that uh, this creates a war file that has the um, the version in it. Maybe you want that. Maybe um, it's very useful for your uh, deployment process. Uh, for my deployment process here, it's not that useful. So I'm going to use just the name of the project artifact ID. So if I go there, it's this demo. So it's going to use demo instead. Uh, I don't know. I think it's easier, at least for these kind of presentations. And then I just have to copy that, and then I, uh, I can access the application only using uh, localhost eighty eighty slash demo without without having to to uh, to type all this. So let's do that, and uh, as it is compiling here, I have Tomcat, and so in Tomcat you have a startup dot sh or bat if you are on Windows. Tomcat started, and now we should have a war file, and this is the same directory, Tomcat 9. And in the web apps, what we have to do is to copy this here. That's it, really. So that's how you deploy to Tomcat and to most servers, actually. Uh, and you can see that Tomcat automatically uh, extracts the, the contents of the file and creates a new di directory here called demo. So the application, maybe it's ready. Let's try to access that to so, localhost 8080 slash demo and yeah it works let's actually check that it, it's working there you go so pretty simple right that's Tomcat Tomcat with Tomcat was easy so let's shut down this server let's check that the application actually is not running anymore and now I have also where is it Jetty so for Jetty you have I think it's jetty.sh and then you specify and start or stop depending on what you want to do and I also have jetty here 
and uh, it's the same so we have a web apps so I'm gonna move this over there if I can yeah and this should do the same so this should deploy the application so you see uh, Jetty is deploying the application but there is a bunch of errors here and so you'll see that uh, there is kind of a, a problem with uh, uh, the type of a class right so it's not as easy and this won't work so we have to do more stuff and so that's what I'm gonna show you here so and, and this is well documented here so the first thing is uh, you have to add this dependency that is if you want to um, deploy again to something that it's not uh, Apache Tomcat so let's copy this part and add it to the dependencies section in the pom.xml file it could be here it doesn't matter right now where this is just a demo and then you have to exclude this dependency this is the Spring Boot Starter Tomcat so this is the embedded Tomcat that Spring Boot uses by default but we're not using that because we have our own jetty right so uh, there's a conflict in the classes that's, that's the problem we had there in the uh, in the uh, log so you need to exclude that where from the Spring Boot started web dependency or if you are using Vadin, Vadin Spring Boot starter we are using Vadin so let's find that one here it is and we already have an exclusions section so I'm just gonna add it here at the end and um, I guess I guess that's it let me check yeah we already did that part so let me uh, rebuild the application and do I have to do anything here maybe I should remove this war file from here and then we're gonna move that file to the web apps directory in the jetty server there we go it's building the war file it should appear here shortly it is uh, this is the right directory so let's just drag these over here and where is the jetty server so now it looks like it's initializing the Spring Boot application so it's, it seems like it's working let's try it out alright seems to be working test alright so yeah it worked the first time I loaded it, it wasn't uh, working for some reason I don't know what happened I reloaded it and it worked uh, uh, it shouldn't happen never happened to me before but for sure it's working right now alright there you have it so that's how you uh, change the um, packaging of a Spring Boot application from JAR to WAR and how to deploy it to Tomcat and Jetty thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video